Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do a study of me and I know this is different from my channel so far because this is my channel from really had gaming videos and I just been really busy in year 12 so I haven't really been playing games so why not do something else? So yeah. So yesterday I live streamed, of course, a live study of me, and in that I was doing some biology, and again I'm doing biology because okay. biology is not my first exam. It's like my fourth exam. Physics is my first exam in chemistry, and the thing is. Physics and chemistry isn't as fun as biology in my opinion. I love them both. Anyway, it's just biology has more heavy contented and actually have more notes and stuff. So I thought, why not take some time and actually do something because I find that I don't actually properly revise it. In biology, the papers I'm going to be sitting are variation and expression or genes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me just explain so this is what it looks like it looks like I've done a lot of revising and saying I haven't the first thing I did was this was during class I had study um, I wrote down the question from my sci-fi book revision book and in this is not my answer or this this whole section here is the model answer from the thing and I've highlighted the key points in yellow down here I've done a key summary of the information of up here of what should be expected in the answer and there it goes it finishes here and then in this next section you can tell because it's highlighted in green is the next question and some was on mutations and because I knew this topic fairly Okay, I did my own answer, which is, as you can see, is within this the pink highlight, my short little answer, and then this is the model answer, and down here after doing the model answer, I highlighted the key points again, and this post-it post note has the answer structure in which I wrote it, the format I wrote it in, as well as the format the model answer gave it in and I just compared and contrast my answers to see where I was lacking and where I could actually improve more information and as you can see the highlighted is actually in yellow is the information that I lacked and in the blue bit is the information I completely didn't have which in this case was the likelihood of inheritance of the different mutations I did include it in my answer but I don't think I did it properly so and it's the thing I have to go over so yeah, I guess this study of me is also like how I revise. This is only one method of how I'm currently revising. So yeah. So the first thing I'm doing is using some paper. I don't exactly like using normal roof of paper. So I'm just using, I know this is my math and chemistry paper, but like I'm using one for J8 impact New Zealand, of course. And the first thing I'm doing is my book is here. I don't like writing on this either. I just find it so much more harder because it's more flexible. So the first thing I do is write down the question. So the okay, so I have the first question written down. What I'm going to do is grab my highlighter. I use five highlighter colours. They are Stabilo Sprinkle highlighters and a Friction Orange highlighter. And so essentially I have a key. So this one is used for heading. My orange one is used for subheadings. I use my yellow one for key information. I use this as other subheadings and or examples 
and I use these as dividers or like just like bubbles and like things to make things stand out. So this top bit is actually the context. This bottom bit is actually part A of the question and it's asking me to describe what multiple polyols are. So if I know the answer, I'm obviously going to go and write it by memory and do as much as I can before looking at the answer and then writing down the model answer and comparing it. But in the event that I don't, I'll just look at their model answer and then I'll just write a key summary from the model answer and then for my exam or something I'll go back to the questions or like another study time I'll go back to the questions and then use the key points and write out the answer in my words and eventually you're gonna be able to remember it. So their answer is just more than two alleles for one gene. So I guess I really don't need to copy out their answer. So in this, I am working on my English essay, one of my mock essays, and it isn't. Uh, it's not on the same day. It was from my previous day, which I decided to put in here because I didn't. I couldn't find enough footage, so may as well include it here. So yeah. Sorry about the quality of this, but I hope you guys enjoyed this very, 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 very short study of me. I. I went for dinner and then I never got back to finish filming it. I might just film it and upload it another day. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't and leave down in the comments what other videos you would like to see. And have a productive week.